Vince Russell from Get Good With Vince here with another quick tip. About two weeks ago, I uploaded a video on facial rigging using Rigify. This was our completed rig. We talked about how easy it was to set up you know, a, a pretty robust facial rig. That's pretty capable. Uh, and it is. The problem is, is I didn't discuss how to rig the eyes. Okay, so if you notice we move the eye rig, you get the fleshy eye feel, you know how the eyelids are moving around a bit, uh, but the eyes aren't moving. Uh, so how do you rig them? Well, figure you rig them like you do uh, any other way. You simply parent them or weight paint them to bones in the rig. Now, I uploaded another video, a weight painting video, uh, and in that we weight painted a, a figure in Rigify, or we, or we learned how to set up a figure for weight painting in Rigify. Uh, and all we did was we just turned on, once again, our deformation bones on layer 29. Layer 29, these are all the bones that actually deform the rig. But you notice, there's no bone for the eyes. These are for the eyelids, but there's no bones for the eyes. So what do we use, you know, what can we parent the eyes to or skin the eyes to in order to control them? Well, I had no idea. I looked all over the rig, couldn't find anything. I did a little research online and found out that you can't use any of those bones that you see existing. You have to use different ones. So if we look, I think it's layer 30 right here. We have our mechanism bones. Let me turn on uh, in front here for our rig so we can see it more clearly. We have our mechanism bones. And these, I'm not sure how they work. They're just more bones that Rigify uses to control the rig. But you notice we have an MCHIL and an MCHIR here. And if we select those bones, then also let's select our face rig, select our eyes. Now, now watch those bones. You're going to see all of them move. We'll just move it around here. You see all of them move because that's how you get that fleshy eye look because those other bones are controlling the eyelids. But notice the bone in the center. Let's get a little closer. Okay, That bone in the center, that's not going to work. I guess you can see it here. The bone in the center moves more. Now that's the bone that we will use to control the eye. It's as simple as that. So let's hide that item because we don't need it. And Let's just parent our eyes to these bones. It's just that simple. So we'll select our left eye. This gets a little tricky sometimes because the other bone's in here. And we're going to go a bit to the side so we can pick the right bone. I believe it's this one. Yep, M-C-H-I-L. We'll hit Control-P for parent, and then we'll hit bone. Okay. And then let's do the same thing over here. We'll select this eye. Go to the side here. Pretty sure that's the bone we want. Select it, M-C-H-I-R, Control-P and then hit bone again. And then we're going to deselect those by hitting something else. Hit face again. And do we need the root? We don't need the root. And then if we select, I don't like the fact that that eye is selected. And then if we select our eye controller, hit G and move it around, now our eyes follow. Just that simple. Okay, there's a quick tip for you. Hope it helped. Uh, and we'll see you next time.